guys, Zuldin here, and welcome back to another episode of Abandoned Ship. So I've skipped all the beginning, and I've gotten back to where I just got out of port. Got almost the same crew set up, actually, but I uh, have uh, an extra. <laughs> I've, I, I happen to pick up enough money on the way to have an extra. So we still have the same cannon set up, still have the grape shot, still have the chain bolas, or chain shot, and we also have two more crew members and I haven't set them yet so my the strategy that I've been employing is get really really close to the enemy and grape shot them um, so we're gonna do that and we have the gunner on the chain shot so that we can close closer and I did a little bit of um, well I think I the mortar is a, a probably good to get used to because it's the first long-range shot so I at least get one shot with this while the cannons are charging and stuff like that. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good setup. And I've been having a lot of luck with it. And kind of employing the same strategy here. Anyway, let's set these home locations. So that I kind of know. And we still have a certain number of objectives to, f to fill that we don't even know yet. So I'm pretty sure that this scenario is five. But let's go ahead and sail to the right here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's go ahead and sail to the east. And we'll try to get further than we did last time. We should be able to. I've, I've practiced a little bit. So that, that defeat, I didn't get salty because of it. Okay, yeah, zero of five. So we just need to find five of the events. And I'm pretty sure they, there's a degree of difference between them. Cold has been sighted in the distance. Okay, do not deviate from our bearing. But I want to be alerted to tinges. Wait. We can't risk them having a spotted. The risk is too great. Attack. Okay, we're going to try to just escape them there. So, we do have the option to get more loot by fighting. But I have a feeling two or three fights is probably good for my skill level. I don't want to fight too much to where my hole's in dire straits. Especially if we get like a Kraken attack or something. There's something. A sentry calls a warning. You pull out your spyglass and appear in the direction. Look out a point. You see trails in the water moving at an unnatural speed directly toward the ship. There's no time to do anything other than prepare for battle with the Halifron. Oh, I thought it was, uh... <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, all right. I, I straight up thought this was going to be a, uh, <laughs> uh, a Kraken fight. All right, here we go. Um, let's get the medical officer involved as well. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize there was that many. Holy crap, there's a lot. Who's hurting? Who's hurting? All right, you need to go to the medical station right away. Medical officer, you need to be ready to heal this guy. Yeah, do it fast, do it fast. Double up, double up, double up, double up. Wow. That was close, man. Oh, we lost somebody, actually. The captain! The captain went down? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, what happens now? Is the captain dead? Like, dead, dead? Death in the Halfron, there's nothing to do with Fiendish Corpse except to cast him back in the waters. Oh, get out of there. Get out of the acid, man. Sheesh. So, the captain is... Can we do anything to the captain? Poor guy. Hold on. Can we... <laughs> yeah, we can heal that. Yes. Thank goodness, man. Alright, the captain should be stabilized now. And... Let's go back and heal this guy. Everybody needs to go to the dadgum, uh... The healing station, though, man. Everybody. And the healer could help everybody. Whoo, baby. Uh, that hurt pretty bad. So if I leave combat, I wonder if I still have access to the captain. Yes, I do. Thank goodness. So all you have to do is survive the fight. That was a lot of Halifrons, man. And I was just saying. And the game just threw me a curveball. All right. Oh, that's the kind of stuff I like. Chest, please. Yes. 21 booties. 
Okay. I think that's probably going to be it for this area. A grim realization hits you. Something is coming for you. Uh, that's the Kraken. Alright, we kind of knew that was going to happen. We kind of knew that was going to happen. Alright, so let's get one of my guys in this area. And we should be able to, like, mess him up pretty quick here. Alright, here we go. Okay, so... Yep, you attack there. Where can you attack? I guess that's it here. Okay, you attack there. You attack there. You attack there. That's pretty quick. That's pretty quick, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, we have half a bar for fleeing. It's probably gonna come two more times, I can only imagine. There we go, so we got one more attack in coming out. Boris almost fill, and then it's gonna take us a little while to actually get out. All right. I wonder if they auto attack at all. It doesn't look like it. There we go. It goes away pretty quick. All right. We start this escape timer right now. See, the boat's taking a very little bit of damage here. Very little bit. I'm okay with that. All right. And by the time this sucker is full, we're going to get attacked one more time. See how it stops. Can't escape when he's on top of us. Kind of floating on it, you know? <laughs> All right. Can we attack this? Yeah. There we go. Let me go, you big bully. Beautiful. And we should be able to get out of here in no time now. Later! You... Wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. You should not dally. All right. All right. So we have two of five events. That actually didn't count as an event, really. A crewman calls you over the rail, having spotted something strange. He points in the water and several straight trails are moving directly towards your ship. You instantly know what that means. Halifron. Wow. Already. Okay, um, tell you what, we're going to do something different this time. There we go. Uh, let's move these two to attack this one, and these two to attack this one. That's how we're going to do it. Two on one, on two on one, and two on one. Yeah, that worked out a lot better. Worked out a lot better. Everybody to the med station. You stand there, bent over, catching your breath. You've won, but you can't help but wonder if the next time will be worse. Everybody out the acid? Very good, very good, very good. Make sure everybody's healed up. I don't know if I have to wait for healing like that, but I, I rather, I rather wait for it just in case, you know. Okay, that's three of five events. So we can afford to fight ships now. We really can. We didn't have that much loot. Between uh, the last few battles, because, well, we skipped a couple, <laughs> actually. I mean, it gives us the option to skip. It just, that's like a regulate in difficulty, you know? There we go. Can we fight? Make straight for the enemy and engage them. Yup. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. All right. We all charged up. We'll try to hit them with the mortar pretty quick. And also, the chain shot. There we go. Halifron! Halifron! <laughs> the way 
The way he says it is hilarious. Halifron! Alright. Um, we'll be able to manage the grape shot. I want to hit right there on their dick. Like... Okay. Let's get my two guys here prepared to fight. Okay. We're going to shoot one more time. Dang it. He went and attacked the guy with the grape shot. Everybody on him. Just take him out quick. All right. The medical officer needs to do what he's got to do here. Oh. Oh crap. I didn't think about the acid. God dang it! And I didn't get to shoot. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, medic. Medic. Here, uh, help my gunner out, man. He went straight for my gunner. He was like, nope. Alright, uh, everybody in their home spot, please. Everybody in their home spot. Fix it. Uh, you're supposed to man the weapon, bro. There we go. Weapon is manned again. Mortar! Now we're probably going to be able to make it pretty close. Their hull is very bad off. I think I should probably just destroy the ship, to tell you the truth, at this point. I think I should probably just destroy the ship. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go down here and let's finish them off. I guess their navigation kept them far enough away. Uh, the Halifron really messed me up on the chain shot deal, too. And I guess we should just help it man, because we're not going to need the grape shot. Yeah, they're going down so fast, man. Somebody just jumped overboard, maybe? Oh, I missed him with the... Uh... <laughs> Alright, yeah, they're so dead, man. They are so dead. Two more cannon shots on another mortar, and that's it. That's it. Peace. Dang, we still shooting. They gone. They down, fellas. They down. All right. The ship is destroyed. You collect what you can and continue on. Oh, I didn't even see I had a... Um I had a leak here. All right, uh, Cap, can you get some water pumping out here? We'll get all this water pumped out. All right, perfect. Leave the combat. Okay, and we only have one more event to go. At least we still got a little bit of money and uh, and stuff from that. Supplies. Yeah. How is this going to be Halifron again? Um, you look through your eyes, spotting the disturbance in the water. Several water trails. Okay. Fire the mortar requires mortar. I got it. The Halifron are forced to zigzag, avoid incoming mortar blasts, although none hit the infernal creatures. It slows them down enough that you make a good escape. Okay, so we don't have to mess with them, and that's five of five events. So we didn't get many ship battles then. There we go. Okay, so we have a few different spots we can go to. It seems the cull has thrown caution to the wind. Your departure and the appearance of the Kraken. Halifron on land blockading the port. Their audacity galls. Have given up any hope of a quiet escape. 
Sweet. Lying awake for hours, you rack your brains over how you could fight a deep sea creature you cannot reach. Fitful sleep finally claims you. An ancient unfathomable consciousness bears down on you with terrible weight. Tentacles rise again, snatching at you, but now you can hold them off. You sense frustration and a curiosity from the consciousness at your newfound strength. A huge gaping maw emerges from the blackness, ready to envelop you. A beacon appears in the hot, enroaching darkness. But sinking beneath you and exploding in absolute illumination, the maw shrinks back with a roar. You sit up bold, upright, taut with re <laughs> realization. If you could somehow hit the Kraken underwater, it may emerge and become vulnerable. But how? Consulting your charts, you remember the aisle where the answers live. All right. You call the crew to attention. We make for the Isle of Landfall. It's where the Empire used to keep their artificers. Uh, if anyone can help us fight the Kraken, that's where we'll find them. Show the crew where they're headed. All right, so we have a couple different options here. Um, we can check our destination on the world map, yeah. Okay, so we can go right or up here. And our destination is up. Oh, it's actually to the right right here. So there's a few different ways to go. This doesn't really tell you where it's at. I can't like right click. So it's raining here. We don't know anything about these areas yet. Wow, there's a lot of areas that we can go to. Okay. Yep, so we're going to head here, huh? All right. Quest log. Kind of tells us strike back and escape. Quest on the current menu. Okay. All right. Well, let's get to it. Let's get to it, shall we? So I wonder if there's different... Uh, I love the rain effect here. I wonder if there's different requirements for each gate. You know, like based on how many encounters you've been through and how bad off you are. We'll pass by both of them. We need to explore the map anyway. Zero of eight. Holy crap. <clears throat> okay. We might be able to find another port here, too. So we probably need to just fully explore this area. A formidable cult ship has been spotted in the distance and is hunting you. Alright, zero of five to go right. Ooh, the music just got grim. I don't know what this is. The cult vessel has been chasing you down unerringly ready to strike. All right. Let's see here. Uh, they're closing. That's great, actually. <laughs> they're closing. That's great. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a mortar here. I think... Um, actually, I might not need a chain shot either. Because they want to get close and board. Okay. That's how y'all want to do? Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. We're going to grape shot you guys. Actually, I should probably take my gunner and come over here. I should probably get my fighter and come over here. There we go. Grape shot's going to load a little bit faster now. I can hit all three of these guys like this. That's great, man. That is great, okay? Okay, beautiful. All right. Let's see here. Still looking pretty good. Our nav bar is going up. We can ram them if we want to. We got more crew than them. We can really do some damage here. Got all of them with a grape shot again. They still haven't gone to heal. If we get the option to ram them, it's on, man. We're going to jump on them like, like crazy. Here. All right, we do have the option to ram and brace. I'm going to hit him with one more Grape Shot Blast. There it is. All right, perfect. And ram brace. and brace. Let's do it, boys. Oh, the Halifront, you're a little late, bro. You're a little late. We going on your side. We are going on your side. 
Uh, the, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on here. We need somebody to come across. Because this Halifron is going to get nasty. Oh, no, he's not. Screw it. Go on the other side. <laughs> what a cluster. Okay, I need my repair guy to come back on this side, too. I need my repair guy to come back on this side. So we don't freaking sink the boat. All right, <clears throat> the cult know where you are. There's no time to collect any salvage. You must quickly leave. Oh, no salvage, man. All right, so let's go here. When course is converging on another ship, they don't seem to know. They seem to be moving with any real intent or purpose. Bring us closer. They may need of aid. Whatever befell them could befall you. Steer clear. Let's bring them closer. The other vessel calmly presents its board side as you approach. Looks like you took their bait hook line and sinker god dang it <clears throat> it's the cult i had to try it could have been some great benefits you know all right we're at half health right now we're gonna have to find port really soon but that's okay this looks like to be pretty cool all right chain shot ready to go nice good hit we're moving closer now Alright, no problems. <clears throat> Let's double up right here. Okay, I don't think I could hit him with grape shot yet. Maybe I can't. No, yeah, we're out of range. Almost, man. Almost. This should do it. That brings their. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go. How many can I hit here? Three? Oh, that was a great hit. That was a great hit, man. Okay, let's get the navigation down. Oh, they just moved. Son of a gun. Yeah, group up, baby. Group up. Let's change. Okay. Oh, man. Come on, Grape Shot. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, Grape Shot. Yes! All right, we doing it. Brace for impact. We doing it, boys. They in shambles. Get them, boys. Uh, I tell you what. Let's. Can I hold control here? Yeah, I can. So let's go for the medic. And you, you, you are gonna go for. Oh, the captain's overboard. Holy crap. That's perfect. Look at this! They won't. <laughs> they had fallen down on the ground and stuff. Oh man, you guys are so toast. You guys are so toast. Yeah, minimal damage. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. There's a halifron somewhere. Or something? Nope. Now that we're on this side. Okay, a fine victory. Your crew find great trunk of hold and the preserved fish and citrus fruits. Welcome provisions for recovering their strength. 21 and 16. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. We can leave combat now. Oh, let's let's repair the ship first, I guess. Uh, cannons? There we go. Beautiful. Okay. There's another something right here. A lookout calls. Lifeboat has been spotted. The crew look for you... For the order. We have more pressing matters. Ignore it. Let's take a closer look. As you get closer, you see several unconscious sailors sprawled around a lifeboat. The crew climb down, checking for survivors. While most have slipped away, a couple endure. They are carefully hauled aboard, and the crew tend to their road to recovery. is a long one, but they will make it. Oh, we got happiness for the crew. Good. All right. So we got two events taken care of so far. Oh, here's another event. Cool. <clears throat> You're slowly catching up to another vessel. It hasn't uh, deviated course, but as you gain ground on it, the signal goes up. They appear to be surrendering. Perhaps they mistook you in natural course as an attempt to intercept them. Replied that they should prepare to transfer their goods <clears throat> or signal back 
that you have no intention of attacking. Give me the goods. The ship was loaded with supplies. You took a selection from their hold and other vessel. It seems the crew of the other ship were well versed in these sorts of transactions as they keep out of your way and avoid triggering confrontation. Ha ha! We are pirates, man. We we gotta we gotta get the cult. The cry goes. We're trying to save the world here. Just a little, just a little, a little taxation. Uh, the cry goes up. A ship has been seen in the distance. Um, okay, through your spy guys, you can't tell if it's already changed course. Uh, they can't catch us in the distance. Move out. All right, I like that. Here's port. Thank goodness. Uh, let's see. Visit the tavern where you can recruit crew. Uh, let's go to there first. So we repair all for 49 bucks here. That's gonna leave us like $48. We don't have enough for anything, but we can sell stuff probably. Upgrades and supplies. Yeah, we have plenty of supplies here. We have 78 supplies. So, 48 supplies and 63 gold. Hmm. It would be nice. So I tell you what, we have two cannons on each side and three cannons right here. I really want another grape shot if that's possible. Double shot, short range cannon that fires double projectiles, chain shot. I would really like a lobber. A cannon is more powerful and further the distance is fired. Mmm, I see. So that's just a different kind of hull destroyer. Okay, so. Huh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Shipwright, that, that, that would be a lot of gold here. 500 for the big one. Okay. So we're all repaired and stuff. Let's go return to port, visit the tavern, see if we can... We have our full spaces here. Oh, look at this. Mary is a, a, a triple-class navigator here. 150. God, dog, though. No, we can't. We can't do that. Um, so we could sell this one cannon here, or we could add a cannon. I think. I think that's what we'll do. That way, if we decide that we want to go uh, ship attack, we can we can employ a different strategy here. I think that's okay. Um, and we still have thirty three bucks. I think that's what we'll do here. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, return to port, sail straight back to sea. Well, there we go, guys. Four events unlocked so far, and we're going to end it right here, and we'll be back next time. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button and show your support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. And it's loud. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time.